Well, my hunt started off a little differently than expected. I arrived early to check the game camera, found these three calves that were out in the road. They belong on that side of the fence. So I spent the next 30 or 40 minutes trying to get them wrangled up, getting them back through a hole in the fence that they had made. I contacted the rancher, made a temporary repair on the fence, marked it for him, and he came back out the following morning and repaired the fence properly. And Carpe Seuss, the game camera revealed that I had a nice big boar showing up for the past two nights, so I got set up and waited for him to show. For the first couple hours, I saw coyotes and raccoons. This coyote coming into the south of me got a free pass as I was waiting on the boar. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. Here the video is being recorded through my IR Hunter Mark III, and that's another coyote off in the distance. Most of my scanning was done with my IR patrol. I spent quite a while watching this coyote, thinking it would come closer. Then I did a scan behind me and discovered that the hog had come in directly downwind of me. I couldn't turn and shoot at that point, so I watched him with my hand held. He sniffed the air, he turned and started to go away. I rotated around with the rifle, made a noise, and he turned and faced me at this point. And down he went with Defender Ammunitions, Sierra TMK 107 grain ammo. This spore ended up being big enough that I thought I could do some additional ballistic testing on him as well. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. He came in right at 230 pounds, and the two orange objects you see are my Garrett Pro Pointer AT metal detector that I use to find bullet fragments, and my Morin knife that I use for the necropsies. As you saw in the video, my point of aim was below the ear, between the eye and the ear, and that's where the shot impacted. The bullet crossed through and was lodged under the skin and several fragments on the opposite side. Almost 41 grains of the 107 grain bullet were recovered after 7 to 8 inches of penetration going through the ascending remus of the mandible, passing through the lower skull, possibly also the atlas or axis vertebrae that were broken and was recovered underneath the skin on the opposite side behind the ear. As there was a lot of unused hog, I decided to do additional ballistic testing. This isn't quite the same as doing it on a live hog. You can't tell if this is going to be a stop shot or not. But we can look at the ballistic damage and what happens to the bullets. As you can see, I peeled back the hide and shield. I'd hoped to hit the humerus with the first shot, but the bullet passed beneath the scapula and behind the humerus, making a wound cavity about one inch in diameter through the muscle there. Peeling back the shoulder, the wound cavity collapsed down from about one inch in diameter to about a finger width in diameter as the bullet passed into the thoracic cavity, breaking two ribs. This shot exited the thoracic cavity behind the humerus and underneath the scapula, breaking one rib with about a finger width diameter hole, fragments being embedded in the muscle tissue outside of the ribs, but did not penetrate the shield. I recovered four fragments comprising nearly half of the weight of the original bullet. Ended up with about 10 to 11 inches of penetration going through the shield, the shoulder muscle, breaking two ribs, damaging lungs, damaging one blood vessel by the heart, breaking one rib on exiting the thoracic cavity and embedding underneath the shield and the muscle. The second test shot was further back and after penetrating the thinner shield, it immediately smashed through three ribs and cross the thoracic cavity where part of it exited on the other side with the core actually being embedded into the shield and fragments being recovered in the musculature such as the one right here. Even more of this bullet was recovered totaling 55 and a half grains. It penetrated 9 to 10 inches going through a thinner part of the shield, smashing through three ribs, clipping lungs, destroyed the liver, exited between two ribs which it clipped, and then fragments were embedded underneath the shield and in the shield. This bullet certainly seemed to be up to the task for making a headshot on this large boar, doing a lot of damage to the skull. As far as the body shots went, it looks like the bullet opens up very rapidly and then tapers to about a finger width diameter hole, crossing through to the opposite side of the body where it's stopped by the shield.
As always, carpe sus, my friends.